Really epic chapter. Wow. And among the longest ones that I remember playing, yep, including the ambush slash disaster or dash disaster chapter 10. But chapter 10 was only long because of the ambushes everywhere. Thank you very much guys for enjoying this together with me. I was glad to see so many of you turn up. The video, the last I checked a few minutes ago, the live stream I mean, has already been seen more than 400 times. Not everybody stood here for long enough of course, but thank you for stopping by. This chapter is by far the best and most entertaining story-wise chapter I've ever played. We got to see so many things, we got to do so many things. Let's just do a quick recap. We had a confrontation confrontation within the Alliance. Uh, we had, in the very end that we just witnessed, uh, Kaleo, who actually refused a direct order. We had plenty of choices, which I don't know yet because that's the first time I'm playing through it. But I have a feeling that they will have an impact, small or big, at least. I'm sure they will have some kind of an impact. And if not something else, then at least a different outcome and different dialogue during the chapter. What amazes me most is that we managed to create a new lightsaber. What and how the hell are the non-Jedi and non-Sith classes supposed to make out of this during chapter 12? I know not, probably a weapon or just maybe um, a color crystal for their weapon, something. Maybe just a, a weapon, just like the hilt, yeah, it's probably gonna be a weapon, probably a specific type of weapon for each class, which actually means, if that's the truth, Bauer went for uh, for this chapter to create different cutscenes with probably different dialogues for each class. That's a good reason for re replaying. There was a huge amount of lore and codex updates throughout the chapter and I'm really happy to see Bauer finally including something to read and uh, rejoice from. We've met many epic characters, let's see. Satil, Mar. Uh, we had a very short but very important, I think, for the near future of the Zaku throne. A conversation between Arkan and um, Valin. We had a fight with Valin. We visited the Dark Cave. Remember episode 6, anyone? We visited the Dark Cave and we fought with uh, Valin's ghost, or as they called it, uh, uh, some kind of a warning. I don't know warning for what. We crafted a new lightsaber, which hasn't happened in the game in four and a half years since uh, the Jedi Knight crafted their very first lightsaber on Titan, or respectively the Sith crafted their first lightsabers on Korriban. There was a lot of lore in this chapter really and I'm absolutely happy with how it played out. We, just like a few of you um, noted during the chat, during the playthrough, we had answers to some important questions such as how exactly do we survive a stab in the back through the belly with a lightsaber from Arkan and we survived? Oh, we saw Valkorion, we confronted, we fought Valkorion, holy crap, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> So that's another epic character we managed to say hi to and play with. Really, I personally believe, yeah, it's, it's the hype and probably the enthusiasm that has totally obsessed me at the moment, but I absolutely believe, I'll probably still believe that tomorrow, <laughs> maybe to a lesser extent, but this is by far the best uh, Knights of the Fallen Empire chapter that we had a chance to play to date. I'm really eager to hear and see what you guys think and obviously yes this little segment is going to a separate YouTube video because I'm closing the live stream right now and I do want your opinions over there under the video. I apologize to many people who actually I didn't get to respond uh, during the live stream. I was trying to focus on the story. I'm thankful that many of you turned up a lot more than usual for a live stream, but yep, we have new content and it's obvious people want to see new content. I think we should all go live on the Bioware live stream tonight. It's actually in three and a half hours and we should congratulate them on the good chapter they've created this time around. No bugs, I must say, except a couple of suspicions that I have, but I'm not entirely sure if, uh, if those uh, things are bugs or maybe just intended 